Stop. So this is my girl Caitlin, Hello. fellow singer songwriter, um, and we will be having a chat. We're getting our nails done, pedi done. Yeah, it's very needed. We need some TLC. Yeah, and yeah, we're just going to be answering some questions. Girl power is the theme. Today's yeah, that's the vibe. The theme every day, but that's the vibe. Yeah. So yeah, hope you like it. I think a little sesh. Yeah, it was a session, about a year ago now, I think. Yeah. We did a proper power ballad. You taught yeah. me how to really just get in my feelings, you know? Yeah, I like that. I like, that's why I like working with you, is that we, we will like have a little mini therapy session oh, and yeah. then like squeeze out some lyrics. It's like, right, let's go. It always yeah. works. Yes, that was good. I felt refreshed afterwards. Did you? Yeah. Did you? Thanks, man. A new woman. <laughs> <laughs> God, I don't, I, it just got into me. Like I actually sang before I spoke as a baby. I used to copy the TV. So it was, I think I was just always gonna do it. And then I used to write poems a lot as a kid. And then once boys started like breaking my heart, those turned into lyrics. And I've just been, I've always done it. Like, yeah. What about you? Um, I think it was sort of the same thing for me, kind of. Like when I was younger, I didn't, I didn't really know I was doing it. I would just sort of write, because I felt like that's what I wanted to do. And I would do some poems. And I think that just turned into, just actual, like when I was bored, I would just like write a song. I think when I went to college, it died down a bit because I was off doing silly things. Mm -hmm. um, but then I, it's all I, research, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, do you, know you what end mean? up using all it's that experience. stuff. It's experience. It's experience. It's material. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, about two years ago, I think I wrote a song and I put it on SoundCloud, and I was like, hmm, maybe this could actually be a thing. And now here we are. Here we are. I don't think I've had I'll let you know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll let you know when it happens. I don't think it's ever going to feel like that because for me, I'm like, I've got no small ambitions. I'm sure you're the same. Like, I could be winning awards and then I'll be like, right, next What's I'm going to do a soundtrack to a movie or something. Like, it's always going to be something yeah, else yeah, yeah. that I want to do. Exactly, so. yeah, I, yeah, exactly the same here. I feel like when, you, when you're in this game, in this industry, whatever you want to call it, I think when I get a record deal, I'm going to be so happy and, and I'll, be, I'll be content. Yeah, and then you realise the work one, begins you, oh, you when know, you get the deal. Yeah, like, like every goal you achieve, you're like, well, what's next? Because it's like never ending. There's so much you can do. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's just a, it's, it's a never ending thing. It's it's great and it's fun, but it's I don't think you ever feel like you've really no. made it. I mean, for me, like personally, if I was gonna do it in like a selfish way, like I've actually been really like lucky in that way, and every one I. Well, nearly everyone I've come across has just been a, like a decent human being. I think as a woman in music, a lot of the time it's about what you look like rather than your substance, which is a shame. Yeah, I think especially if you're more, if you're glamorous and stuff and you're girly, you express yourself that way, you'll be reduced oh. to that. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, and it's, it's, a, it's a tough one because you're like, I want to do this for me, but it's always going to seem like I'm doing it for someone else. And you have to try and shine through your actual worth. Yeah. Being taken seriously is tough. I feel so lucky to be a woman and the way I can express myself as a woman um, and to be able to create with amazing women like this one. It's just, it's just, it's a great feeling. And I think when you all come together, you know, even though everyone's journeys and experiences are different, we all share the same, we are women in music. That's what we do. Because yeah. we're really like in that renaissance culturally, I'd say. And now we're here really talking about what we go through, real issues, like, yeah. and we're sort of among the first few generations. Like, I think people like Little Kim and stuff started it in the 90s, where it's like women with brains, women with something to say. And I think it's, we're living in the height of that now. And there's also, I think there's like a massive push on women just being rightfully so, like unashamed, like sexually liberated, like this is how I feel confident. You know, you can feel confident in a three-piece suit, you can feel confident yeah. wearing a, like a bikini. If that's what you feel, that's how you feel. And I think people are really embrace, embracing that. It's like, she might feel sexy with, you know, showing her bum. You might not. <laughs> what that's bum? great. Have you seen me? <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel sexy in dungarees and boots. Which is, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So I think it's just like people accepting, this is how I feel good and you're going to accept it because it's my body, not yours. Yeah. 
I feel like sometimes the industry would have us hate each other. Yeah. Like we are really raised, even from young at school, like girls are raised to see other girls as competition. But it's getting better now. Like I'm finding that people are just like, I'm over that. I want us to be comrades. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I think it's way easier to support each other and to want to see people do good than to be bitter because you're just going to be a miserable person. Obviously to say, you know, there's no natural like element of competition I think would be like unrealistic because that's just yeah. like, in your But that's your how you nature. improve, yeah. But then, you know, that it's more about inspiration. It's like, oh my God, she's doing that. Okay, cool. Like maybe I need to fix up in that area and, and, and do better. Yeah. So I think it's just the way you see it. Don't be bitter, be better. Oh, I like that. Yeah, yeah. There's not enough female producers. Do you think that? I don't know. I I don't think I've ever worked with a female producer. I've, yeah. I've worked with three female like sound engineers, and even that, I was like sick. You're like amazing. wow, yeah. I'm lucky enough to have worked with a lot of female writers. Yeah. Caitlin, like Caroline Aylin, Camille, Jinjin. That's just like a few. It's a whole different experience when you're writing with another with another girl. But I'm sure. That's just my experience. I'm sure the balance is like way off anyway. I think it's more, there are a lot of female top liners, but then there's so many things you can do to write a song. So like, yeah, yeah when you meet most guitarists I meet, most sound engineers, most beat makers, like oh, a lot, like a lot of them are guys, but there are so many female songwriters. Like I think females, we've got a way with words and a way of, a way of getting to each other in session. But I think also as well, it's mm. touched on the whole like toxic, masculinity thing where as a writer you really have to feel free with like opening up and expressing yourself and being really open and I know that for a lot of men they find it really hard to do that because of you know society teaches you like you need to be strong like you need to be the care like as in you know you you can't show emotion so I think it is might be harder for men to be like walk into a room and go these are all my fears these are, these are all my troubles like I'm laying it out bare like it is really hard to do yeah and um so maybe, you know, that's the reason why there are quite a lot of like female writers on that side. I can't imagine not being able to express my feelings. I'd go insane. Oh my god, I know. Say how you feel. It's okay. Say it with your chest. No judgment here. This is a safe place. <laughs> <laughs>
is a very it's like a safe space and like no one is, is gonna judge me like and i feel like sometimes you have to think like for the sake of the song that like, just say how you really really feel you know no i still i think i always do still say it but i do feel very nervous while i'm doing it like i'll push myself to go through with it but I'll kind of do it like third person. You know that whole like asking for a friend? Yeah, I'll be yeah, like, yeah. so imagine you were feeling really depressed and like someone was feeling really lonely. Look, like, it's me, it's yeah, me, yeah. I'm lonely, <laughs> I'm depressed. Someone is me. Yeah. Hmm. I, I actually know the one for me, but it's unreleased and I don't think it ever will be released. It was almost thought of the most difficult, but actually the most easy. I literally had like broken up with my boyfriend outside of the studio, like literally outside. And then I walked in and I'd never met this guy before. His name's Glenn Roberts. Shout out to you. You really helped me. What's up, Glenn? Do you, do you know Glenn? No. Oh, he's, saying, hey. he's a stunning man. <laughs> and then he's like, so what's what's happening? And I was like, I struggle with my boyfriend. Oh, no. And so it was so raw and intense. It was really difficult to do, but actually because it was so raw and intense, it was like the lyrics just came out. Had but the goodness it, in it. Yeah, yeah, but it was quite like hard to do without breaking down <laughs> yeah but yeah so that's probably sometimes you do you shed your tear in, in the studio yeah you do. It happens what about you? my well actually mine's not it's not so much a songy song it was like a little composition i made so my granddad who was really important to me passed away in january and what i did is i went through all of my voicemails that he'd ever left me i downloaded them all and me and my friend raf riley sat and made this composition and then i sang some ooze and created this song and it's like mm. and it's like Shh, hello kate it's only your gramps and stuff it was like i cried the whole way through but it's it was because music's the only way i know how to I express really myself cry. i feel like crying now yeah it's it's one of the most beautiful things i've never shared it with anyone i just have it and i'm really grateful that my friend like just sat and made it with but me see, how amazing is it that yeah we're, we can do that that's the language we speak you know like that's I mean? the therapy that i know so that's what i did with those voicemails that's and amazing okay can i just say like my family just like don't care <laughs> <laughs> No, that's a lie. They, they really, really do. But they're... No, my dad, actually, he's like, he loves it. My mum is just like, whatever. Yeah, I thought, but after a while, it is like that. Like, you know when you're young and they're like, that's amazing, let me see. And now I've been doing it for a few years and, yeah, and yeah. it's like, I wrote another song. It's like, yeah, of course you did. That's what you do. <laughs> yeah. I, I, and I sometimes... I don't really play my music to my friends a lot because like, it's like a bit... I don't really want it to ever look, look like I'm like... You know that guy at the party that's like, here's Wonderwall and you're yeah. like, no, <laughs> no. But sometimes if there's something really, really... I, I never show them my emotional ones, but if it's something like funny or really sassy, I have to be like, girls, like, just listen to this. Like, it's so funny. It's about that guy. Like, you're going to laugh sort of thing. Yeah, it's even better if they know the backstory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, they all know the backstory. Trust me. <laughs> there's so many different people. See ya. Oh, that would be an emotional situation. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I think she's so, so talented. I think... I would like to write a song that's gonna sound random, but I would like to write a song with like James Blake or someone. <gasps> I love him. I love James Blake. And oh I just think, I, I, in my mind, like I just does not work like his, I, I yeah. feel like. So to get into a room with him and to just- See what he comes up yeah. with for you, yeah. A million followers, because you could make more than a million pounds with that like a year later. This Grow is, that. This is what I was thinking. I think when I, but when I was like, obviously a million pounds, but then a million followers can get you a lot of coin. Yeah, you can like you can grow lot, that into a business. A lot of coin, like a lot. Yeah. So a million followers just. I'd waste a million pounds on Uber within a year. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be gone. And Uber eats. Can't do these stats. Oh, this I'm again. Ready. Should we just say the lowest, so then we're like not disappointed? Yeah. Should we say like five? Five. Oh, for God's sake. The one time where that's I'm like- That's a win. 23%. That's actually that's more than it. I was thinking. It's not enough though. No, of It's only not. a quarter, but yeah. Kate Bush. I knew you were going to say that. Uh, I'm obsessed with her. I knew you were going to say that. I love her. Mine is, I mean, I say it every single time anyone asks me anything. I just love Rihanna. Uh, I just yeah. love Rihanna. I She's know it's best. boring and everyone's like, oh, that's such a boring answer. But if I'm gonna pick a female role model, okay, every single business that she's sort of put herself into, from like music to her makeup to her clothing line, to everything she touches turns to gold. Yeah, people love her. 
No, yeah. She so, says, sorry it's boring, but that's my answer. I don't know about, I, I can't pick a song, but probably like, I, I'm listening to a lot of like Meg The Stallion right now. Uh, you know that, she's like, she's like a female rapper and she's just like, uh, she's just like, uh, you know. I like Bad Girls by M.I.A. Oh, yeah, it's the best time, Bad Girls do it well. Yeah, yeah that gets that's me. That's a classic, like a classic banger. Yeah. Can't go wrong. So yeah, thanks for listening to us. Talk. It's been great, it's been real. Thank you for, for chatting with me. Thanks for having me. But listen, free pedicure. <laughs> do you know what yeah. I mean? It could be worse. <laughs> yeah, definitely it could be good. so much worse. And it has been, and it will be again. <laughs> so yeah, thank you.